Okay, I've got a quick little tutorial showing you how to make a YouTube intro using Autodesk 3ds Max. So what you want to do, to start off, go to top view, and you can see if you're on the top view. Uh, click on this like on here, shapes, and then go to text. Here you can change the text. I'm making it for a friend called Xnally. Uh, his link will be in the description. Uh, so Xnally and change the font, I've got a nice font here called x ray Regular I'm going to change the size to 25 ok and then you can click on the screen and you can position it about using this tool put it in the middle and then go to up here this icon modify and then under modify lifts you want to go to bevel and then if you scroll down here to bevel values level 1 height change it to 10 and as you can see it's in 3D now if you hit M on the keyboard you can change the colour by clicking ambient I'm going to make it a nice blue colour so that's good, to, that's good for me and you can change the glossiness and the uh, shininess basically by changing these to 100 and this to 100 and Oops, wrong one. <laughs> and this is a hundred, and gives it a nice glossy look. Dragging that on, uh, see it's got a slight shine. All right, so we can close that. What we're gonna do? We're gonna click Create Cameras, Create Camera from View, and click Auto Key. Now I come down here, Field of View, zoom all the way in, and you want it to be on a bit where there's no nothing. Uh, that will be black when it's finished and then click the little keyframe. This little slider here changes to about uh, slide it over to about 20 frames. Come out and to about there and then go to 40 and this orbit camera go here and then zoom in. Basically you can do this whatever way you want. Uh, but I'm gonna do it this way. I didn't quite get it on for it, but it don't really make a difference to be honest. And come over here and then do that. And then come over to 80, zoom it back out so you can see the full thing. And then when we get to 100, we want it to go back in to where we started. So you can play this through, that's what it's going to look like, pretty decent. Okay, now when you're ready to export this, you want to click on this little icon here, render setup, and then you want to click range, and you want to make sure it's 0 to 100 on output size, click on custom, and then click HDTV video, and then click 1280 by 720 scroll down and then where it says render output click on files and you just want to save it to your desktop it's the easiest place to do it and then give it a name I'm going to call it X Nally intro and where it says all formats you want to change that to AVI click save and then Microsoft Video 1 quality 100 click OK and then click render and then it will just render it frame by frame uh, I will show you the finished product at the end of this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.